Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-six in chapter twenty-six. Chapter twenty-six is about DC circuits, and in this circuit, we look at the DC circuit. As we can see, we have power supply and then connected with the R, right? And then connected in series with this part. This part has R and the capital R in connected in pairs, and then go back to negative side. Now. We want to make the make, make determine the value for R, and the so that the heater powers will remain constant even if it is resistant R changes by a small amount. So that means we want to make sure the heater's power, this part, right, uh, just keep constant even the R changes a small amount. And then look at the hint. This is the most important part. Tell us delta R if it is much larger than R not. Then delta P equal to this part. So that means if we want to make sure the power remains constant, that means we need to make the delta P equal to zero. Do you agree? And delta P equal to zero. As we see, the R may changes a small amount. So that means the delta R is a、uh, Not equal to zero, so the term can equal to zero. Zero is this part, right? Dp with d、uh, to dr, and when r equal to r not equal to zero, so that means in this situation, what is the r can equal? So we need to determine the small r satisfies this requirement. Do you agree? Now you can see we need to determine the p. With R, so we need to find the function for P, the heater, this part, right? The P as a function for R, we can see we can see the V squared divided by R. So it looks like we need to find the potential across this heater, across the resistor R. So how can we do that? We can see well, first one we can get the equivalent resistance for this circuit. So this R in parallel connection with this part, right? With this、uh, part, this box. So that is R plus this term for this R and the capital R, and then we get the equivalent resistance for the circuit equal to this term. Now the I total, the current goes through the circuit is just use epsilon divided by equivalent resistance. Input the equivalent resistance. We get it equal to this term, right? Now we can get the V heater. The V heater just the voltages from this two point. That is use epsilon minus the I total divided times the R times this R, right? And then input I total inside. We get the Term look like this one. So now we can see the voltage across the heater is、uh, given. Is we just obtained there, and the input is a V heater in this function. V heater squared divided by R. We find the function for P heater. That is the power for heater, right? And then the next step, we need to do the derivation for P with R to make sure at is R not equal to not is equal to zero. So now you can see. We do the derivation for the power heater with R. It looks like this one. When I equal to R not equal equal to zero, so that means this term can equal to zero, right? When I equal to R not, and the simplified, we find the small R should equal to two times R not. Thank you.